Oh, you motherfucker. Modification station I also find in Rex. So, I am going to have to look for those wrecks and I think I know where I have to go. There's a newly added biome, or well, somewhat new, and that's called the Blood Kelp biome and I quickly have to find where that is. I think I know where to go. Okay, so the locations for this biome are minus 500, which one is which? So this is X and that's Y. Oh. So I have to find a location somewhere in between 1500X and minus 500 Epsilon. So this is the direction that I have to go in. So this is going to be a very interesting biome if I find it and I can kill two birds with one stone. Because in the blood kelp biome there is a wreck that I have to investigate for the moon pool and the workbench. And also in this uh, biome I'm gonna find some stuff that I will want to take with me. Problem is though I only have 20% energy left. Ah this is right next to the aurora this is not where I have to be. No 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 fuck that. Fuck it. You heard it. You heard the Reaper Leviathan. Well, and if you didn't, I certainly did. I'm not gonna go that way. Fuck it. Fuck that. But I have to go in, like, this direction to find where I have to go. Minus 500, minus 1000. So if I go in minus of both directions, I should be fine. I'm definitely not gonna have enough energy. But I think I have a power cell on me, so we should be good. Now, the menu you see up to the right is the F1 menu, which shows you where you are on the map currently and that's uh, gonna help you out if you know where you have to go and I do I have to go to minus 500 then the height doesn't matter and the third coordinate has to be minus 1000 so this is the way that I have to go still going in the right direction I don't think I am oh no 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 so this is definitely the mountain biome, and this is where I did not want to go. Welcome aboard, Captain. No, 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 no. Don't want to be here. Fuck that. Well, I avoided a uh, certain death there, like, by a few inches. And it also shows you the biome that you're in right now, which is the grassy plateaus, which is actually right next to where I have to be. So... Good. I'm just gonna keep that menu open just so that I actually find the right location, so I'm sorry for that. Huh, interesting. I'm not gonna check that out just yet, though. Actually, I actually think this is a good way for me to go. Oh, what are you? Power cell charger. Oh, yes. I need another one of those guys. Now that I think about it, this is probably the way that I have to go. Those are some new fish. Reginald. This is the best fish to catch as far as I'm concerned. New creature discovered. Reginalds are the best source of food if you're talking about fish. I know that much. So with the power cell charger, it's the same thing as the battery charger, but this of course charges power cells. Which yeah, I don't have to explain why that's awesome. So, I'm on minus 600, minus 800 somewhat, so this should be fairly close. Is this the entrance to it? No, not really. I'm in the Grand Reef. Where's the Grand Reef? Right next to the Blood Kelp biome. So I am super close. Yeah, this is this is the way that I have to go. Right in here in the open water. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not happy with that. This can't be the end of the map. I mean, come on. Minus 500, minus 500. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I was here before, but I then went into the completely opposite direction. And then over in this direction, there should be the blood kelp appearing quite soon. Yeah, here we are. Yep, that's the one. Now, this biome is the most different looking one. Somewhere in this biome, there is a wreck that I want to find. It's either over in that or that direction. I think it's that one. Those fish look so weird. <laughs> yeah. Gabe's feather. Alright. Yeah, there's a wreck somewhere in here. 
And I know for certain that it's not in a unreachable depth for me. And if it is, well, I'm just gonna get my exosuit then. Because that can reach basically any point in the map. So, I'm just gonna leave my seam off here. I'm gonna swim back, get my exosuit, and be right back over here. That's gonna take a while. So, I had to make a stop over here with by my sea base. Oh, I can drop stuff in here? Oh, hell yeah. So, yeah, this is all just gonna be in here. This is luckily not gonna go anywhere. Now I'm gonna get my exosuit. No, oh, I just love this, this exosuit. It's so good. Traveling with this thing is extremely boring. At least, with unupgraded stuff. Hey, you can try and follow me. <laughs> Punk ass bitch. Before I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna see how far up I can go with 100% thrust movement. Mm, not all that far. That's not so good. Oh well, fuck it. I'm just gonna go down here. This doesn't matter to me all that much. This thing is a one-way ticket anyways. Now that was not the most intelligent thing because I know that the wreck is not so far down. Wait, do I have my... Now I can actually scan the thing. Amp eel. Okay, so, so the amp eel. Interesting. So yeah, this, this guy is now um, stuck there for quite a while. Oh, that's a fragment. Scanner room. Never heard of that thing. It goes down even further. That sound was terrifying. I don't really want to go any further down if it's not necessary. And I know the, the wreck is not down here. Oh, there's another one. Please be something that I need. Nope. Oh, another scanner room. That plant here looks interesting. What are you? Ghost weed, okay. Oh, you motherfucker. Well, um... This guy looks terrifying. So, hopefully I, I might kill the guy here. No, he teleported out. Okay, then. I mean, those are some... He's still there. This guy's gonna fuck me over. I know it already. Yeah, there he is. See? He wanted to teleport me. Which is not gonna happen, buddy. Come here. And then he just pussies out. Okay, then. He will come back for sure. I don't know where this wreck is. So it's uh, from the coordinates. It's minus 1100, so I'm basically there. But then it's... It should be, like, right above me. But I don't see it. And it goes so much further down here. No, oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, sugar. I can't do anything against that now. If I could stay on that wall here, that'd be cool. Which I can. Yeah, there's some metal down there, so the... Yeah, exactly, that's what I thought. It's right up here. This vehicle is so cool. And there you are again. Okay. So, yeah, that's the wreck that I was looking for. Let's get you on number four. And let's get in there. Modification station fragment. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Another, Another one. one. Nuclear reactor fragment. Perfect. That was the other um, power source that I was uh, referring to. Oh, there's also moon pool in here. Yes, man. There's everything that I need in here. Emergency. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Um, this is gonna be bad. Oh my fucking god. This could not have been any closer. Like, I think like one more millisecond in there, and I would have been dead. For sure. But one thing that could like fuck me over big time is that warper. If he would have warped me in that point in time right there, I would have been dead. No questions asked, I just would have been gone. Oh, three more percent. Okay, that's bad. Because that basically means I have to s swim my way in here by hand. Oh, what are you? Modification station fragment. That's the last one that I need, pretty sure. 
Yes, I got it. Now, I need one more moon pool fragment. And I have everything that I need. Oh, there it might be. Yes, there it is. But now I can get out of here because I have everything that I need. I, we, we have all seen what happens Emergency. when you go... Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. It's kind of bad now. And with kind of, I mean it very bad. So we've Emergency. all seen what happens... Did, would you shut up? We've all seen what happens when you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a reaper in a sea moth. But I'm, I'm not sure what happens if I do the same thing with a exosuit. I imagine I would get killed quite quickly, but um, I don't know. So, I finally made it back. Welcome aboard, Captain. But I'm still starving, so that should help out my calorie deficiency. So there's a reactor rod. Used to power nuclear reactors, okay. I need uranium, lead, and titanium for that. Okay, then. Two titanium ingots, three lead, and one lubricant. Okay, so that thing's gonna be a bitch to create. Then a power cell charger, computer, chip, wiring kit, glass, and two titanium. Okay, then. Basically the same thing as a battery charger, but only with some advanced stuff. Like, here I need copper wire, and here I need a wiring kit. And then also, I need... A moon pool, which is four titanium ingots. Really, dude? Four lubricant at one... Oh, I'm sorry. It's the raddest wiring kit. But this thing is going to be very important. So what do I want to build first? That's the that's the question here. I would say the nuclear reactor, just because that would solve my energy problems once and for all. Now, I need two more lead, one lubricant, and one titanium ingot. So I'm gonna need a lot of materials now. I'm just gonna, like, place all of this stuff out here. So that I can be sure to build the nuclear reactor without any interference. Now, powering this bad boy is what's gonna be the problem. Because I'm gonna need quite a lot of materials for that. Now, I need reactor rods. And for that, I'm gonna need glass, titanium, and I think uranium as well. Yeah, all of that. Oh no, lead. Now, titanium I have enough. But what I certainly don't have enough of is the other two. I think I'm gonna go back to my uh, base and get everything that I have from there, and then I'm gonna look from there. So let's see what stuff I have in here. A lot of rare materials, but not exactly what I need. Oh, there's a lot of titanium. Okay, that's good, that's good. But it's sadly not what I need. Do I not have some lead in here? Aha, I do have one lead. That's good, because that's means that I need uranium now. Bad thing about that, I have to get in some uncomfortable locations to get that. I have to get some uranium before I can get the nuclear reactor going. But the thing is, that's basically gonna last... That's gonna last for a long time and it's gonna give me a lot of energy to work with. That's the last thing that I want to do for today. And then I'm gonna call it a session as soon as I have that done. So, I'll just make a jump cut from now to when I'm back over there. So, uh, that will take me a while, but you shouldn't see any difference. So I finally made it back. I found some uranium crystals on the way. This is the third I have now, but I'm gonna take some more with me. I'd love to get like 12, because that means that I can do four reactor rods. And there's exactly four that fit into one. So that's nine. Now I need three more. Oh, I stuff is already full. Well, don't I have some inventory space left in my Seamoth? Shit, I don't. I'm just gonna drop one blood oil. Then I'm gonna take some stuff out of here that I don't need. So I can, for example, just drop the gold. How much stuff do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. Wait, ten? Oh. Oh, did I? Nah, I don't care. I just need two more. Now, the ten percent I have left right now have to suffice to get back to my uh, sea base. Okay, this is actually not all that close. Oh, I got here in one breath. Okay. And this is now producing energy at quite a quick rate, if I do say so myself. As soon as you get nuclear energy in this game, you're basically set. You don't have any energy problems from here on out. That's basically how, they, how it works in this game. <laughs> you can see this is a very good escaping tool, the stasis rifle. I've used the nuclear reactor before. Oh, really, dude? Every time I used it and I had four reactor rods in it, I never saw the day that they ran out. Oh, I don't have titanium. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I first have to create a titanium. Did I need a 
Did I need glass for it? Yeah, I needed glass. So I'm gonna build that locker right... Right here. Let's build another rod real quick. And I get another one in there. I don't think that that produces energy more quickly, but it it just means that I don't have to swap the rods out for a longer period of time. And now I can also get rid of this guy. And deconstructing things that you've already created gives you back the materials that you needed for it, which is very good, because now I can build another locker. So I'm going to have to go back and get my seam off, which requires me to build a battery and a power cell. So I'm going to be right back as soon as I have the materials for that. So I'm back. I'm going to build one. I'm going to need two silicone rubber. The batteries I already have created, so I'm going to pop one in here. And now I'm going to build a power cell. And that's the thing that I needed. Now, I had one benzene on me, like over here, I believe. Yeah, I did. So let's get that. The other silicone rubber that I had, I can now use to make... Oh, I needed fiber mesh. Oh, I'm an idiot. Well, it won't take me too long to get that. Now I have synthetic fibers. I have the power cell and I have that, so I'm gonna get back and get my seam off back over here. And as soon as I do that, I think I'm gonna call it a session. I can just eat the creep vine. But you can't eat too much creep vine. Elsewise, you lose some health, because that's a mechanic of the game. That's uh, what happens when the computer voice tells you blood loss detected or something like that. Blood, warning. Stay blood loss detected. Yeah, that's what she just told me. Warning, blood loss detected. Good. Now that I have everything back at base, I'm gonna call this a session because this was quite eventful and a lot of stuff happened. So let's quickly summarize. So I found the nuclear reactor, then I found... And here, the modification station. This thing is also going to be extremely important as soon as I am able to build it. You're gonna get to see why in the next episode. We've explored quite a lot with the exosuit and the Seamoff. And a lot of cool stuff happened, so thanks again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next episode. Let me know in down in the comments below what you thought of the video. And as always, have an awesome time and take care.